This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys, let's get started. So, let me take you to the historical background of SCCM. Yesterday, we did the overview session of SCCM, wherein we discussed about the historical background. So, SCCM started in 1994, and the latest and current uh, latest and uh, greatest version of SCCM is MECM 2211. This is released last year in the month of November. Okay. What do we do with SCCM? We deploy updates, we deploy patches, we deploy application, we control the devices, we de deploy policies. You will have complete control on the devices through SCCM. So that's the <clears throat> role of SCCM. Now we have three sites in SCCM. Yesterday we discussed about it. So central administration site server, primary site server, right? And secondary site server. These are three different site servers. And all these need database, right? All needs database. This one is optional. This one is mandatory. This one is optional. So in order to create server, we need to have what? We need to have, uh, first of all, we have to have a network. And then on that network, we will install. Uh, let me show you what we have to do. Let me take you to the slide. Yes. So first of all, we have to have a network connection, right? A LAN network. Then we will install a server windows server you cannot have linux box you cannot have a uh, mac operating system it has to be windows server either 2012 or greater so <clears throat> domain server that's the first server we have to create second server database third server that is going to be our primary site server fourth server that's going to be our secondary site server and fifth one it's not a server, it's a client machine, Windows 10 or Windows 11, anything of your choice. All of them will be on the same network so that they can talk to each other. Okay. Clear, guys? Now, who joined today? Today, I think uh, Mahindra, that is your first session, right? Today is your first session. And Ritendra. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Can you introduce yourself, please? Both of you. Uh, hi, guys. This is Ritendra. Uh, I work for TCS and I live in the Canada. So currently, you know, working for a, a customer called Nmax Corporation. And I'm, I'm with TCS for around 15 years now. Uh, I have worked. Uh, uh, in different technologies, for example, Genesis, as well as like I have worked in uh, pack application packaging as well. And like uh, I've been in, uh, like uh, I, I worked in the uh, transformation consultancy as well, where uh, like we uh, kind of uh, worked in the proposals, like and, and whatever bidding that we uh, used to get in TCS, I used to play a part in that as well. So I'm in Canada for, for around three years now. So before that, I was living in the uh, living in Kolkata. Okay. Thank you for the introduction. So you are already working in batch de uh, application deployment field, right? Yes, sort of. Okay. So you use SCCM for the yeah. deployment so, purpose? Yes, yes. Uh, for starting from creating collections and then deployment and like some sort of like patching as well, we do, but uh, not mm -hmm. in depth. Uh, honestly speaking okay fine so just to let you know yesterday we did the overview session okay i will give you the recording you can go through that recording and from today onwards we will do the uh, the practical okay so okay. how do we do the practical there are two options so either you do it, do the lab setup on your local machine like this 
you need to have minimum configuration like uh, 16 GB of RAM, quad core processor and 300 GB hard disk. That is the minimum requirement for SCCM local lab setup. Otherwise, if you do not have this configuration, you can create Azure Cloud Data Center free account that gives you 30 days free trial and we will extend that for third extend that uh, for uh, another 30 days so 60 days you can use this one azure free uh, trial account 60 days you don't have to pay anything to microsoft now so how do you <clears throat> how you are going to do the practice and create lab ali which one local or azure Uh, hi Kashif, I am not at, uh, yet ready. Actually, I'm thinking about my office laptop. So, office I'm laptop? waiting for that. My senior, yeah. But office laptop, you are you allowed to install all these on your office laptop? Uh, no, no. I need to ask my senior. He yesterday I told him, so he did not reply. Okay. So I'm waiting for that. But, uh, do you have your personal laptop personal right now i don't have okay you don't have any computer at the moment yes yes okay okay you have to have a computer either personal or office laptop whatever it is so okay. get the computer ready so that you can start as quickly as possible now prabhu is doing the local setup ritendra what is your status oh uh, so I can I can have both like local as well as like okay. Azure Cloud as well. So okay. whatever whatever you are you are suggesting, I can do that. Okay, Sai. Sir, I will go with other cloud data centers. Okay, Azure Cloud data center. So you need to create a new account. Last time you had created an account, right, Sai? Yeah, yeah. I, I actually I used a account, but at the time uh, I already used my debit card. Now I using I I taken another account for this account. Okay, so use a different credit. I'm card, going to use another different phone, different phone number, different email address. Yeah, yeah I am I, I am going to use different different debit card, sir. It will be okay. activated today. Okay, so different debit card, different, debit. different uh, email address, and different uh, phone number. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise already I created uh, another. Already I created another lot account. Mm -hmm. Today I am going to create that in this account also. Okay, good. Uh, Sandy. Hi, Kashif. I'll be working with Azure itself. Azure. So you yeah. have created account already? Yeah, already created the account and even uh, we extended it also, if you remember. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. So <clears throat> now, uh, Sandy, have you created any server there in Azure Cloud Data Center? Uh, not yet, Kashif. Not yet. Yeah. Okay, one minute. <clears throat> uh, I am going to send you the steps, Ritendra, to create your Azure account. On sure. WhatsApp, I sent that to you already. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so if you would like to create now, you can go ahead and create one account. Have you created any Azure account before? Uh, I I think yet? I think uh, I have one uh, for uh, like I'll, I'll have to cross check because if like I'm I'm not okay. remembering it, so yeah, I may be like having a account already. Okay.
okay so <clears throat> let's get started so uh, prabhu you have renamed the machines right yeah kashif yeah renamed okay sandy i'll make you presenter okay. you share your screen okay Uh, just give me uh, two minutes, Ashraf. Actually, I'm not on my to oh, not on to my laptop right now. I joined it through my phone. So just give me two minutes. Okay. logged in to the laptop Sandy Uh, Kashif, I'm not able to unmute myself onto laptop. Hmm? I'm not able not to unmute able. myself. Yeah. On the laptop? Yes. On the laptop, you have not connected to the audio. You need to connect to the audio first. Already there. Okay, am I audible now? Yes. Yeah, great. Okay, so I am sharing my screen. Yeah, I made you present. Share your screen. Okay, so guys. So I can see your screen. I hope everyone else can see the screen, right? So 
you need to create your Azure account. Uh, those who have not created, like Ali and uh, Sai and Ritendra, you have to create your Azure account. Then only you will be able to um, practice on this one and create your SCCM lab. Now, this is Azure free trial account. Azure gives you 30 days free trial. In 30 days, you can create your resources, right? And you will not have to pay anything to Microsoft because you get a credit of somewhere around $200 US dollar in your local currency. And that you can utilize for uh, one month, 30 days. And after 30 days, we will request Microsoft again that give us $200 more. So they will give us $200 more so that we can utilize for another 30 days or 40 days. Got it? So two months, we don't have to pay anything. And by the end of the course, we will finish everything. And you still will, you will still have like 15 days remaining for the practice. Understood, guys? Now, so what's your status, Ritendra? You can see the screen, everyone. Yes, Kasim, I can see it. Okay. So, in Azure, Azure is what? Anyone knows about this Azure thing? Hmm? Yeah, it's a cloud platform basically provided by the Microsoft where right. we can create our virtual machines and different kind of services we can use under this. Right. So it's a data center. Now there are three types of data center. One is private data center. Second one is public data center. And the third one is hybrid data center. Private plus public. Now this Azure is a public data center. Okay. That means anyone can create their resources in this data center you can also create i can also create right so it's a data center um, platform cloud platform wherein you have all the resources available in almost like 50 countries okay 50 countries you have this azure cloud data center now what you have to do you need to uh, create your resources and the resources what you create that has to be in a resource group and that group you can utilize you can only access that group nobody else will have permission to access that one just like you you have your bank account in a bank right so you are the only one who can operate that account nobody else will operate similarly we have to create a resource group and inside that we will add all the resources resource group is nothing but a container container a box right and inside that box we will put everything all the resources to access got it just like in bank you have a locker you are the only one who will have access to the locker nobody else will have permission to access the locker okay so what we have to do first thing first we have to create a resource group okay and then we have to create virtual machines so can you click on resource group okay so you have many resource group already created yeah i was trying something Okay. What about virtual machine? Have you created virtual machine already? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I created, but I just deleted all the configuration that I have made. On can, the you, can you can you search virtual machine? Yeah. Sure. On the top. Virtual machine. Okay. Now, what we will do, since you have already created a resource, let's delete those resource group. Okay. Those who are going to create a new Azure account, they will not have to delete anything. But here, 
so no you can't delete like this you need to click on the resource group one by one and then you can delete so let's click on this my rg1 hmm. my rg1 you need to click on that not check the box you need to click on the oh. name my rg1 and then check all these boxes which says under name uh, check all these boxes and then delete resource group delete resource group option is there no cancel this close this uh, on the top you have delete resource group yes click on that now type in my rg1 delete okay now similarly now you have to click on my rg2 at the left hand side check all these boxes here and choose delete resource group my rg2 now similarly you have to click on the network watcher rg and check all the boxes below and choose delete resource group hmm. copy from the top network watcher double click on the the first line which says warning deleting yeah you can copy from there as well yeah copy paste it here now click on vm hyphen group check all the boxes huh. okay so since you had some unnecessary sorry, uh, the resource groups we deleted them all of them okay now they will get deleted so don't worry about it they will get deleted automatically because we have initiated the the deletion right so let's go back to home on the top resource group again You see one of them is deleted uh, my rg2 is gone my similarly these all resource groups will get deleted now so we have to create five uh, three virtual machine for now later on we will create two more virtual machines why do we need to create virtual machine because we have to create domain controller database then mecm primary site server so on the top search virtual machine Now, where will you create virtual machine? Either you create in uh, US or Canada or Australia or um, Indonesia or India or Gulf countries, anywhere of your choice. So, but we will choose the default location. Whatever the default option will come, we will go with that one. So, let's click on create option at the left hand side. You have create Azure virtual machine. now free trial is fine the subscription either free trial or azure virtual uh, azure um, azure subscription one anything uh, you know whatever it comes so we don't have to touch the subscription tab now resource group which is saying create new we have to create a new resource group so let's click on create new and type in the name as mecm underscore training mecm underscore training click ok now the resource group is going to get created and the name of the resource group is mecm underscore training now virtual machine name so type in domain the first virtual machine is going to be domain 
okay now it is going to install in ca no do, just keep domain not a big name that will be difficult so domain is fine now below the region is coming as canada okay but i wanted to create in east us okay so let's go to east us go up yes first one east us i would like to create all my resources in east us okay now below availability zone change that to no infrastructure redundancy required we don't need any redundancy so let's click on no infrastructure redundancy required very good now security type is a standard below you have image now ubuntu is selected ubuntu we can't take ubuntu we have to take windows server so let's click on the drop down click on ubuntu and choose windows server 2019 data center the second one second one okay so windows server 2019 data center again the go up go up you see the the region is changed to norway change that to east us i don't know why this change uh, east us you have to make sure it is in east us availability zone no infrastructure redundancy is required so kasi uh, like uh, can we create selecting different regions like uh, for example we can we okay. can you can go with canada as well you can go with norway as well okay so so can i select why uh, i am choosing two, huh can we select for two different region for two different uh, like primary and secondary yes for primary side we will have a, another region okay. and for secondary we will have another region that we will do okay. later on okay thank okay now scroll down ashif you were saying uh, why we are going with east us why we are going with east us because east us is little cheaper than other locations that's the only reason okay oh. there's no okay. other reason plus east us network connectivity is also good so i have not faced any challenges but if i choose the gulf countries or um, i have not tested the canada one even india so the network connection is not that good enough um, you know the 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 connectivity so you okay and 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 one more thing in this free trial account do we have any restrictions of using public ips yes only three, is there a three public yes only three public ip you get in one region okay 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 Okay, so we are into size right now. Okay, so uh, go up, scroll up a little bit. No infrastructure redundancy required. Uh, yeah, Windows Server 2019. Okay, uh, go down, 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 down a little bit. Now, now the size. What will be the size of the computer? That means how much memory and processor you have to give it to the computer. So memory. 1 gb uh, it's giving 1 gb is very low memory so let's change that to 4 uh, 3.5 click on the drop down click on the drop down choose uh, the second option the 1 cpu and 3.5 ram very good now below you have to give the username so give your username that is uh, so your name type in your name okay and then the one why you are giving no just okay. okay now the password you don't have to choose your password i will give you the password open a notepad open notepad hmm. type in password capital p and then all small password at the rate 1 2 3 everyone you have to set use this password okay don't use a different password because <clears throat> if you forget the password it will create a hell lot of problem okay copy and then paste it in the password boxes
and you don't have to type in the password you have to copy and paste it like this okay now scroll down scroll down all the way go next you have next disk option down at the bottom do we need to allow http port inbound yes we have to allow the rdp which is by default selected http is not needed we don't have to connect to the uh, we are not hosting any website there so we'll leave it as it is next disk and this one would you like to use an existing window we license? don't have license no? we don't have license let's, let's go next now it will be the premium ssd we'll leave that as it is let's go next networking now here we have uh, networking it is saying uh, domain vnet no 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 can you click on the drop down okay okay let's click on just below domain vnet click on create new just below the domain vnet you have create new option huh. instead of type in domain vnet type in east us network east us hyphen network okay and click on okay now you have a, a subnet and that is 10.0.0.0 slash 24 that's okay we will go with the default option then we have public ip now in front of public ip you have create new option so let's click on create new the public ip should be static it should not change so click on okay by default it's static now let's click on basic and the first option is basic so basic and static because it's the cheapest one so we are taking the public ip which should not change it will remain as it is just like your phone number phone number is publicly available right so anyone can call you if you keep on changing your number people will not be able to call you right similarly ip will remain as it is click ok and then at the left hand side you have review plus create So all the machine, whatever the machine we are going to create now will be part of East US network. It is going to cost you 9 rupees 89.53 paise per hour. Click on create. You don't have to pay. It is going to getting, it is going to get detected from the credit, $200 credit, the 15,000, you have somewhere around 15,000 rupees in your cart. Uh, in Azure portal so it is gonna deduct the amount from there okay so now you have to create two more virtual machines go back to the notepad and write down the today's step you have the notepad huh point number one at first you have to type in the today's date 23rd feb 2009-2023 point number one create Azure account Azure account that you have already created point number two create virtual machines create three virtual machines <coughs> okay 
so first okay now let's go to the virtual machine section again we have to create the second virtual machine and that is going to be database so search virtual machine hmm. the first machine is ready the domain is ready now we have to create two more virtual machine in the same region so create resource group we don't have to create any new resource group now it will be the same one for all the resources what we are going to create now so let's click on MECM training that's the resource group then below you have to type in database the virtual machine name database capital D and then rest everything is small Hmm. East US is fine then availability zone is given we don't need to take that one because that is little more expensive so no infrastructure redundancy required below Windows Server 2019 the image hmm. Windows Server 2019 okay now wait a wait a minute you see that the region is changed to East Asia you have to make sure it is in East US. Okay. Huh. Availability zone, no infrastructure, redundancy required. Okay. Windows Server 2019 is given. Now scroll down and type in your user. Uh, one CPU and 3.5 RAM is fine. Uh, the username is Sandy and now copy the password from the notepad and paste it here in these two boxes now let's go next disk next networking okay so east us network all the machines should be part of east us network so we don't have to um, make any changes in that one but the public ip we have to choose a static and uh, uh, the basic one so click on create new in front of public ip you have create new choose basic and then click ok Click on review plus create. Click on create, yes. That's the second virtual machine database. Now, similarly, we have to repeat the same step for the third virtual machine, and that's going to be MECMPS, and that will be our primary site. So we created two machines. Domain is going to be our domain controller. Database is going to be our SQL server. And MECMPS, the third machine which we will create, that will be our primary site server. Why do we need domain? Domain is a prerequisite. Database is a prerequisite, right? So before we install primary site, we have to have domain and SQL server ready. Now the third one, let's click on create Azure virtual machine. 
Now resource group same, same container. MECM underscore training. Then virtual machine name. MECMPS. Capital letter, all capital. M E C M P S. This is going to be our primary site server. Okay. Hmm. Windows Server East US and no infrastructure redundancy required. Standard Windows Server 2019. Very good. Now below you have to enter your username and password go down hmm. one cpu 3.5 ram sandy copy the password from the notepad and next 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 networking uh, east us network and then below you have a public ip click on the create new in front of public ip and then basic and static review plus create Okay, go back to the on the top you have search look for virtual machine search again virtual machine hmm. so we created three machine we have to very verify whether all the machines are in same container yes same resource group mecm underscore training same location east us right and same size the last one is size standard ds1 underscore v2 and they got the public ip address these are unique public ip address for each machine okay to connect to the machine we need a public ip address now in order to connect to the machine we need a software we need to download and install that to access those machine one minute <clears throat> one minute please
okay so let's download one application it's a new application uh, we would like to try that one so far i was using m remote but not we will use uh, microsoft remote assistance can you try that one uh on window you want to connect to, to remotely download microsoft remote configure pc to remote access one minute starting windows run fall feature update remote desktop under the system setting instead of remote uh no not remote assistance wait a minute this is not the one i'm looking for can we work on windows administrative center hmm Windows Administrative Center. Windows Administrative Center. One minute. Uh, connect remote computers via remote desktop connection. Okay, oh, open a new tab and go to google.com. We'll try this application, okay? Uh, yes. Type in download remote desktop connection manager. Type in download space remote desktop connection manager. Remote desktop connection manager. I think this is the one. Uh. Hmm. Click on the Microsoft one. Yes. Huh. Click on this download remote desktop connection manager. We will try this one. Previously, Microsoft removed this product, but now they have added it again. Double click on that. Huh. X run. Huh. So, this is a Microsoft product. Yes. Now down at the bottom you have, wait a minute, down at the bottom you have the icon, right click on that icon. Down at the bottom in the task bar you have the icon of remote desktop connection manager. Next to the notepad icon, you don't see, right click, Yeah, yeah. right click on that and pin to taskbar so next time you can use this icon to launch this application okay now so let's maximize this screen now we will add the machines here one by one we will add the machine so click on file on the top left and choose new uh, type in below you have file name type in mecm underscore no, type in um, East US, capital letter, East US. Very good. Click on save. So in East US, there are three machines. We will add them one by one. So let's right click and then choose add server. Add server. Uh, type in domain. Add. One, one more time, right click and then choose add server and type in database and add. No, 
right click add server me cmps okay so we have added these three servers now go back to the azure portal hmm azure portal now you have the public ip address for each machine at the right hand side so first one is database copy the first one that's a database ip address double click and control c to copy control c to copy now no don't right click double click and then control c to copy now go back to m remote i'm in the remote desktop connection manager hmm. Right click on database and go to the properties of that one. And paste the IP in the first one where it says server name. Paste. Just paste. Just paste. Very good. Now below a display name. Display name is the IP address change that to database. So do I need to change it? Yes, to delete and type in database. Now click on log on credential next to that. Hmm. Now uncheck the first box which says inherit from parent and then type in your username's Sandy and the password is password at the rate 123. Capital P A S L W O R D. click on OK now double click on this database to connect and check the box if it gives you any pop-up check the box do not show this message again do not ask and then you say yes so we are now connecting to the database now similarly you have to copy the IP address of the domain server Don't right click control C to copy. Hmm. Put your username. Double click on the domain, check the box, say yes. Put the username and password. Okay, so all the machines are now connected. Now we have to do some local, uh, the some basic prerequisites, uh, the basic uh, uh, steps. So go back to the notepad and write down the next step. Point number three, download remote connection. 
remote desktop connection hmm. point number four connect to all the machines okay so connect to all the machines we have connected now we will do point number five do basic configuration basic configuration on all the servers that will be our last step okay so let's let's go to the database machine first one by one we will perform this task database and then click on local server at the left hand side Hmm. Now, we get it in the full screen. Right click and full screen on the database. Right click on database at the left hand side. Uh, and do full screen. Full screen. Very good. But do you are not able to see the start button. So in order to see the start button of the database, you have to scroll down. You have the scroller at the right hand side. You need to scroll down at the right at the extreme right. Yes, okay. that's the okay. Now database. Now click on you see public IP. Uh, so Ethernet it has a DHCP six, I mean IPv4 and IPv6 both of them. So we have to give only one IP. Uh, IP address four is fine. So right click on this Ethernet and go to the properties of that one and uncheck this last checkbox which says Internet Protocol version six. We don't need that one. Click OK. And close this. The second one is IE Enhanced Security, which is on. Let's turn that off. Click on on. And then turn off. Why this is on? Because it will not allow you to go to any website. So we are turning off that security. We would like to go to some website. Okay okay now click off click ok now one more thing as you see windows update is install update automatically it will install update anytime and restart the machine we don't want that to happen so let's scroll down at the extreme right you have the scroller you scroll down and right click on this start button and then run type in s config s config click ok okay so point number five as you see windows update setting which is set to automatic we will have to change that one so type in five and hit enter now m for manual so type in m hit enter so we are changing the setting from automatic to manual because if you choose automatic, you will lose control when the update has to be installed, when it, the machine has to be restart. Okay. Click OK. Now let's, you have to repeat the same step on the other two machines. On the top, there is a bar, the blue bar where the public IP is written 20.127. The blue bar is there on the top of the screen where the public IP is written, right? Double click on that blue bar. Uh, sorry, I'm not able. Okay, okay, okay. On the top of the screen. Hmm, double click on the public IP. Very good. Now go to domain server. You can right click and then do full screen if you want. Very good. Now go to local server at the left hand side. This is domain server. Now you have to repeat the same step. So IPv4 is needed, not IPv6. Right click on Ethernet properties. Uncheck the IPv6 thing. Click OK. And then IE enhanced security is on. You need to turn that off. and then scroll down open run right click on start run
five and hit enter m and hit enter Hmm. Same process. <laughs> yes, uncheck the IPv6 thing. Then I enhance security should be turned off and then scroll down and then right click on start and run type in s config 5 and hit enter m and hit enter very good now click on the blue bar on the top where you have public ip Now you have to save the configuration, the setting in, M, the, in the, the remote desktop connection manager. So click on file on the top left, file and choose save connection file. Save eastus.rdg. Save, save all. Save all, huh? Yeah. Okay, now next point is go back to the notepad. Point number six stop all the machines in Azure. So, in order to stop the machine, you need to go to Azure portal. Mm. Go at the left hand side. Check all these boxes. Mm. And click on stop. On the top, you have a stop right hand corner. Mm. And yes. So tomorrow, uh, before you join the session, uh, everyone, you need to start the machine and keep it connected. Okay. Start the machine like five minutes before you join the session and keep them connected. Okay. Sure. Okay, guys. So we'll stop right here. We'll meet tomorrow. And those who, are, who have not enrolled to the course, you need to contact me and do the enrollment first. Okay, guys, we'll meet tomorrow now. Okay. Thank you, Kasi. Thank you. Bye now. Thank you.